night on the money line for that game. So let's go ahead and move forward and get into our next. And let's talk some boxing. We got Jamal, Jamal, Jamal Charlo returns Saturday night after almost two years out of the ring. And you know what? This is a good moment for him because he's been going through a lot. You know, and that's life, man. You know, you get down to the crossroads of your career and things like that. He's still an undefeated boxer. But, you know, fame and money and all that stuff can really, really poison people. And you know what? It usually poisons the people around you. The person that provides the money, the person that provides the the fame, all that stuff, they're just a, a person. You know, they're trying to get through their daily life and still be normal. You know what I mean? And then you have the people that are around you who want to be extravagant. They want to be flamboyant. They want to be the star of the show, but they did nothing to get to the star money of the, the to the star access of the show. They they're a hanger on or they're hanging out. And you know what? Sometimes it's hard to just tell these people. No, sometimes it's hard to just get these people out the room. I don't know what his exact situation is. Well, I kind of do have an idea what his situation is, I've been told. But I'm not going to put this man on blast because it's not my business to be telling. So pretty much Jamal Charlo is a guy that, you know, I just worry about what he does in the ring. And what he's done in the ring has been some amazing things. He's been able to knock guys out in uh, convincing fashion. He's been able to um, hold guys off in fights that people felt that he was he, he had a little bit of pressure on him. But you know what? I've never really seen uh, Charlo have that off of a night. And you know what? Him taking two years, almost two years off was the right thing to do because he was going through it. He was going through a lot of things. He got hurt as well, too. So right now you got a healthy Charlo. I don't know how mentally healthy he is, but you have a physically healthy Charlo uh, coming into this fight. He's still the WBC middleweight champion, still pretty much the star of the middleweight division as well, too. The top, to the cash cow, the top guy. And that's why everybody wants a piece. That's why everybody wants to get, you know, some type of um, some type of matchup with him as we move along. But we know that this possibly sets up the next fight for Charlo with a fight that he's been asking for for the last decade, and that's with Canelo. And I know a lot of people are, will have their, oh, man, oh, man, oh, no, we let the other brother fight him. Well, look, this is the undefeated brother. This was the brother that was the mandated challenger for Canelo for years. This is the brother that had always called him out, the brother that said that he could kick his ass, and the brother that really has never really had the same type of respect the other brother had for Canelo. This does build up a great fight between these two. It doesn't matter what people say. And you know what? Jose Benavides Jr. was a great fighter about a decade ago. He was a great prospect. He was a guy that could have been one of the greatest world champions ever if he didn't get shot. And then he sits up there and he gets a fight with uh, Bud Crawford to try to uh, get the, make things right. You know, there was a lot of hype going into the fight. A lot of people felt Benavides could win the fight. They thought it was going to be a rocky moment. And what happened was he got knocked out in the 12th round. It's that simple. So pretty much um, you have a guy that's bitter and feels that his spot has been taken somewhat by his brother. Let's keep it real. Let's keep it real. There's a little bit of brotherly uh, jealousy there, uh, but it doesn't come out in the forefront, but you can easily tell. And, you know, it's it's a, it's a love thing. It's not like he's going to come back out and say, you know, F David and da, 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 da. But, you know, he's a little hurt. You know what I mean? He feels that he should be the one, but he supports his brother, who's the main event, the, the big dog. But we'll get there in a second. But you know what? He has a chance to go ahead and really have a coming of age moment and show everybody that, you know, his leg injury is not holding him up from winning fights. You know what I mean? But I truly do think that the guy goes into these fights too angry, too mad, too, too bitter and too, too, you know, ready to to like mess the whole fight up, you know, like. And that means like trying to fight at pressers and fighting at the way in and all this stuff and having all this extra stuff to say and not being able to speak without cussing. That's really not a very, very fun situation for anybody to have to really sit there through. So pretty much hopefully Saturday night, 
these guys get everything off their chest, you know, especially Jose, since he feels that, you know, um, he's been overlooked and he's not being taken as seriously as he should or as he feels. And um, you know what? You hope to see that Jamal Charlo comes out and he and he's sharp and he and he's fighting focused and he's ready to win a fight and get himself prepared for his next championship run at the 160 um weight uh class. So with that. Um, this will be the co-main event for the um, Saturday night uh, card, and this is going to be an absolute slugfest if you ever say there's one. And I think that at the end of the day, this one is actually going to be a very, very defining moment for Jamal Charlo. I just really feel that. I know a lot of people are probably doubting him in this spot, but I think Jamal Charlo will feel pretty good when he gets to hit somebody in the face. So with that, we move forward. Let's go ahead and get to the big main event for the weekend, and that's going to be uh, David Benavides and Boo Boo Andrade going at it for the uh, spot to who's going to fight Canelo in September. Don't you think? I think that's what probably will be the